If your primary language isn't PHP, then feel free to skip this video. We're not going to be looking at anything new for the regular expressions. Uh, I'm just going to be demonstrating how to use regular expressions within PHP. And we'll also look at how we can do it in JavaScript. So here we have this PHP file. I'm going to create a regular expression variable and I'm going to set that to, uh, we'll use the example from last time. So we'll set test and we'll have our group, ed, uh, uh, ed, uh, and ing, and we'll make that optional. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say match equals preg uh, match. And if I remember rightly, the regex comes first and then the string. And we need to make the string up here. So we're going to first set the string to, uh, we'll set it to testing. And then down here, we're going to say if match, then echo matched. So let's look at this in our browser. A delimiter. Okay, we need to add a delimiter. I forgot about that. So we didn't need to do this on the regex site because it does it automatically. So the way that we do that is just a uh, forward slash on each side. And we can also use uh, pound signs, but I prefer the, the slashes. So let's have one more try. And there we go, we get match. Let's change this to tested match, tester, match, and finally test. So now I'm going to set the string to something totally different. Hit refresh and we don't get matched. So now I created a JavaScript file and I've just created a self invoking function and I've created a string variable. And I've also included this inside of my index file. So of course, if we, oh, I also opened my developer tools. So if we refresh here now, we're not going to get anything because we haven't done anything in this file. Let's just check that this is working. So console.log test. And there we go, we get our, our test message. So let's get rid of that and actually match some expressions. So let's create a, a conditional statement and we're going to say string dot match. So if string dot match and inside here we insert our expression. So let's skip that for now and just uh, log a message string matches. Now in JavaScript, unlike PHP, we don't need to have our regular expression inside quotes. So if I add my delimiters and just enter a string like hello, uh, hit refresh, and there we go, we get our string matches. If we change this to something like one, two, three, four, five, and set our regular expression to a range of zero to five, then we're going to get string matches because it's matching these characters.